Previously, uh, we have done step 1 and step 2. Now, we are in step 3. So, in step 3, we have to calculate head loss. So, what's the formula for calculating head loss? So, it's the same formula like you did before. So, the first formula is H. Okay, so you are already fam familiar with this. Sorry. With this um, formula, right? So, this is the formula for calculating H. But now, from this formula, you have, uh, instead of using V, you have to use Q. Because, finally, you want to have these terms. K, Q to the power of 2. Okay, so when you uh, change V with Q over A, so you have this formula. So, Q over A is V, right? So, in this case, K is FL divided by D 2G A to the power of 2. Okay? Remember that we want to have this presentation of K yeah? and H. H is equal to K, Q to the power of 2. Okay, so for the second um, equation, so this is F. Because you want to know K, so you must know, you must find F first. Yeah? So it's just like, um, like before that we want to determine F using Moody diagram. But in this case, we don't use Moody diagram, but we use this equation instead. So this equation have been introduced to you in, in our previous lecture. Okay. Okay, next we have this equation. Okay, this is uh, since we need D over epsilon in this um, formula for calculating F. So now you have to know this. Okay, actually this is the value from the, ex the example that we will do after this. That we are doing now actually. From the previous figure that I showed you. Okay, and then you also must calculate Reynolds number using this equation. So, V times D upon um, this nu. Okay, nu is given as 1.21. Okay, this is from the table of water property. Okay, in this case, it's given like this. So, if you don't, you're not sure, you please refer to the textbook. Okay, so you know that uh, V is equals to Q over A. So, now everything we want to stay in Q. Okay, so Q times D. Upon A multiply by nu. Okay, so these are three important equations that you must use uh, in Hardy cross method. So this step four. Finally, you want to calculate delta Q. So what is delta Q? It's the difference between Q assumed and Q calculated, which is determined using the equation below. Okay, so this is where the iteration methods will be applied, okay? So, the fourth equation will be delta Q. So, delta Q is equals to summation of HFC. This is head loss. Head loss in the direction of clockwise. Yeah? Okay, so this is HFCC. This is also head loss, but in the direction of counterclockwise. Okay, so CC is counterclockwise. Okay, so you divide this uh, with HFC, so um, hit loss for clockwise. Divide by QC, so QC is flow, summation of flow, also clockwise. And plus summation of head loss counterclockwise divide by Q flow rate counterclockwise. So this is the summation. So if you want to know the derivation of this delta Q, you can refer to the notes that I gave you. So 
you can find uh, the explanation from the from this article on Hardy Cross method. Okay, this is all. I will show you how uh, we do the calculation. How can we do the calculation in the next uh, video using Excel? Okay, see you. Thank you. Bye.